the uh, <laughs> with the election and, and all sorts of things. It's uh, less than 100 days, and there's all sorts of shenanigans uh, going on. Uh, the last time we had you on our program about, oh, I don't know, about a year ago, we had a lot of great feedback from folks that, uh, they, they really like you and re- really like your stuff. So, uh, I'm, I'm glad we were able to get you back on with us today. Uh, bring us up to speed on, on what you've been up to, my friend. Well, you know, I started a new organization called the United Hispanic America. And what I'm doing with that is basically I'm trying to get people away from the Democratic Party and the chains of it, because what the Democrats have done to the Hispanic community is completely criminal. They've forgotten about the legal immigrants that have come to this country through legal process. And that, for me, that, that's, that's something that really gets to me in my heart, because my family came from a communist country like Cuba. They came from another corrupt country like Mexico. And, you know, they got away from that, and they did this through the right process. So that's why I started United Hispanic America, is to teach people that they are not Democrats, that they are Republicans, especially Hispanics in the United States. And I'm currently right now, I announced that I was running for governor of the state of California because there's a lot of issues that are going on right now that are close to my heart that I want to make a difference in. We have got Omar Navarro with us today. He joins us live here in our broadcast. So what's been the feedback uh, on this organization since you got, got it up and running? Yeah, you know, a lot of a lot of people have been reaching out to me, and I had some events uh, just recently, uh, especially with the recall of Gavin Newsom. Uh, I've been a part of that too. Uh, as far as that, you know, a lot of a lot of Hispanic and Latinos in, in, in those communities have been going up to me and telling me, like, I'm glad that someone is taking action because look, like Candace Owens, you know, someone like Candace Owens goes out there and she speaks for Black Americans and she tells them to get away from the the victimhood, you know, the victim mentality. And that's what we have to do. We have to get out there. We have to educate people. And a lot of times, you know, you have, like, uh, television channels like Telemundo and Univision who, who basically own that demographic. They think that they, they're, they're only going to listen to them, and a lot of times they do because that's all they hear. But if they listen to something different, then they'll start listening because that's what I've been doing. I've been making sure that I've been putting myself out there and I've been talking to people and having conversations with them that – now there's an alternative. There's not just the leftist media. There has to be a right media within the Hispanic community. We have got Omar Navarro with us today. He joins us live here in our big program. And uh, so, so Omar, there there is a lot going on. Uh, it it seems with, with with politics. What 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 do you make of what what's going on? Yeah, what I'm seeing right now. Uh, I'll give you an example. Here in uh, Los Angeles, where I live. Uh, Eric Garcetti, the mayor of Los Angeles, basically said he threatened if, if you if keep throwing parties, if people keep throwing parties and stuff, he's going to shut down their utilities. I'm like, look, first of all, that's against property rights, our constitutional rights. And he himself is trying to control what people what people do and can't do with their property. Where are we? Are we in Venezuela or Cuba here? We have got Omar Navarro with us today. He joins us live here in a broadcast. Coast to coast and border to border on iHeartRadio and 50-plus AM FM stations across the country and around the world. Omar Navarro with us today here on our big program. So, so Omar, you're, you're, you're running for office. Uh, bring us up to speed on, on all this. Yeah, so I was running uh, against Maxine Waters in the last election. You know, I lost. You know, I didn't, I didn't go through the primary. Uh, I lost to a rhino, a, a guy that, you know, is posing to be as a Republican. And he switched parties in the last five years, uh, five different times. So, you know, how, how can we, you know, have someone who's so flimsy? You know, Maxine Waters, I'm sure I found someone to challenge me and to, to make sure that I didn't make top two, especially in that district. It's a 90-plus Democrat district. Uh, you know, I lost, you know, by over like 200 votes. I was so close. Um, and then I saw the bigger problem. You know, I saw this is not just a problem that's going on here not in my district only where i live but it's in the whole state the problem starts in the entire state there are a lot of republicans that are registered here in this in the state of california and we do have the chance to reclaim back the state but the only way that's going to happen is if someone that's out there that's active that's going to be strong is going to challenge gavin you someone what he's doing that's the way to do it is to take him head on and a lot of times a lot of these candidates that have ran in the past for governor, uh, you know they're they're out of touch. They don't they like I, we had Neil Kashkari, 
uh, that ran years ago. Uh, we had uh, two Republicans that, that killed each other practically in the primary. They didn't even make top two. Um, there was two Democrats that faced each other. If he's in California, what we have is the obviously the top two. It's not, you know, two Republicans against each other and then two Democrats. No, it's top two. Whatever top two people make it, it could be two Democrats, and that's how it works. It's like, the, again, like with Nancy Pelosi in San Francisco. Two Democrats are going against each other. The two Republicans killed each other. And they didn't even make top two. It's absolutely amazing. It's Omar Navarro. He's with us today here in our broadcast. And uh, Omar is candidate for governor of California to replace the sitting governor, Gavin Newsom. He's a small business owner. He's also a political strategist and founder of United Hispanic America. So uh, with United Hispanic America, what's been some feedback you've gotten from folks uh, on this organization? Uh, a, good feedback. Um, a lot of positive feedback from a lot of people. Uh, I've been putting it out there on social media. It's been a good reaction out of it. I, you know, of course, I took a stand with the guy from Goya uh, because he was, you know, he was basically t- standing by the president, and, and he wasn't letting the leftist media just push him around. And this is what even happened. I don't know if you saw, recently saw that some of his family members tried pushing him out from being the CEO of the company. I mean, that, that's the kind of things that are going on. And if it wasn't for his sisters that stood by him, then you know that's that's what that's what kept them as a CEO of the company. But can you believe that? Like, if you're in charge of a major company, and if you're affiliated as a Republican, as a Hispanic in the United States, they shine down on you. They look down on you. They 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 try to attack you, vilify you. They try to say you're not Hispanic enough. That you're a coconut. They call you names. And and, and this is what happens within the Hispanic community. There's a lot of uh, uh, I would say there's a lot of racism within all the community. And that's what goes on. It's like a lot of people talk about discrimination. Well, we discriminate each other all the time. And people don't really talk about this. And this is something that, that has to be brought up because sometimes, you know, people don't really understand what goes on in certain demographics in the United States because you get out of touch because you're not in that demographic. But when you're in it, you understand it. You understand the way of thinking. And a lot of times within Hispanic communities, people victimize themselves. And we have to change that way of thinking. You stop, have to stop being a victim. And you have to start being a victor. Definitely. Definitely. Omar Navarro with us today. Omar, I appreciate you making time for us today, coming on the big program, chatting with us. And uh, I look forward to chatting with you uh, next week or here in a couple of weeks, my friend. Anytime. Thank you. Appreciate it, my friend. There he goes. Omar Navarro. And uh, we are going to take a timeout. <laughs> 